A new report has shed light on what appears to be the most discriminated group in France, young black males. While the nation's relatively few Roma occupy the bottom of France's social pyramid, males under the age of 25 with parents from sub-Saharan Africa suffer from discrimination in a host of vital areas. Their unemployment rate is 42 percent, compared to 22 percent for descendants of white Europeans. Their median household income is a whopping 34 percent under the national average, and they are 3.5 times more likely to live in poor neighborhoods. This report simply describes reality. When it comes to government programs, for example, it seems that our applications go straight to the bottom of the pile or get rejected for questionable reasons. It's a damning report, and one that is not only rarely produced in France, but one that is usually rejected without reflection. The French state claims to be completely neutral and thus bars any discussion of race, religion or ethnicity in a decision which clearly favors the establishment. It's a policy which appears willfully diluted to the many victims of discrimination. We can't ignore that discrimination exists. It demands integration efforts such as more job training centers in black neighborhoods. The report underlined just how difficult it was for France's young blacks to get jobs despite having been raised and educated in France along with their white peers. If the job is to be a janitor or a security guard or in a manual labor, blacks are hired right away. In jobs which require a degree, whites are privileged in the job market. What's more, blacks are rarely given management positions. The report comes in advance of a cabinet meeting this week on tackling inequality. France's prime minister recently said that an apartheid has imposed itself on our country, a mild admission of guilt which still drew plenty of criticism. Ramin Mazahiri, Press TV, Paris.